This is a versatile dry fly pattern that can be used both as an emerger as well as a spinner. To tie it, we'll start off with the thread color of your choice and grab some synthetic quills, strip one free, and secure it to the side of your hook shank. We'll secure this tightly in place and continue wrapping well into the bend of our hook. And if you'd like to win this fly, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. With this complete, we'll reverse our thread's direction, wrapping back towards the head of the fly, laying an even and smooth base all the way up to the hook eye. And if you'd like to make the pattern be a little wider, you can simply build up a transition as well. Once we almost reach the hook eye, we'll whip finish, set our thread to the side, and grab our synthetic quill. If you have a rotary vise, you can use it to help spin up the quill. However, it's not necessary. As we wrap up the quill, we'll make sure it's evenly spaced, just slightly overlapping the previous wrap, allowing the underbody to show through. Continue wrapping forward in closed touching spirals until you reach your thread. At which point, we'll secure it in place, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind our synthetic quill and snipping the excess free. Next, we'll cover up our tag ends and leave in base for our following steps, wrapping back slightly onto our quill. With this complete, we'll grab some UV resin and paint over our quill, adding some shine as well as durability to our pattern. Once happy, we'll fix in place with the UV light and grab a synthetic dubbing. Here I'm using olive. We'll create a small dubbing noodle and begin wrapping this on top of our quill just to the start of the hook point. And with this complete, we'll of course brush it out to give it a nice, buggy look. We'll then grab a synthetic wing material. Here I'm using a molded dun, trimming it up into a shape of a wing. Lay this over the top side of your fly and secure it tightly in place, helping to orient in place by taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind the wing. We'll follow this up with another wing, facing off in the other direction, once again securing it just as before. You can have these lay flat to imitate a spinner or prop them upwards to help mimic an emerging mayfly. Next, we'll create another dubbing noodle using the same dubbing as before, using this to help continue position our wings into place, also building up some bulk for the body in the process. And of course, once complete, carefully brush it out to give it that nice, buggy look. Next, we'll grab a piece of foam. Here I'm using loco foam. We'll snip free a small piece and secure it tightly to the head of our fly. Cover up your tag end, repositioning your thread in front of the foam, and whip finishing to help prop it up and secure everything in place. Snip your thread free, and this is a fairly simple but extremely good looking emerger or spinner pattern that I like to use during the mayfly hatch or afterwards when the spinners are falling to the water. You can increase the size and change the color to match just about any hatch. It not only looks good in the fly box, but also fishes extremely well. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.